Dear students, we are solving problems under non-linear partial differential equations and here we have type 4. So we are going to solve problem 2 under type 4. The question is solve z equal to px plus qy plus 2 square root of pq. We observe that the given equation is in the clearest form. So we have written that. Now let us mark the given equation as equation 1. Now first step is we have to find the complete integral. So for that for we have to differentiate, I mean now we have to put p equal to a and q equal to b in equation 1 in order to find the complete integral. So to find the complete integral, put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. So we get z to be equal to now here we have px, so it will be ax plus here we have qy, so it will be by plus 2 square root of instead of p we have to substitute a and instead of q we have to substitute b. So square root of ab. So this is equation 2 and this gives the complete integral. Next step is we have to find the sing singular integral. So in order to find the singular integral, we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b from equation 2. So from the complete integral, if we eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b, we obtain the singular integral. For which we have to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to a and b first. So let us do that. So first, dou is z by dou a. That is we are differentiating equation 2 partially with respect to a. And that will be equal to, so now x will be treated as constant. So on differentiation a becomes 1, so we will have x. by will become 0. And the differentiation of 2 square root of a, b. Now if you see here, we have uh, uh, a and b. Square root of b will be a constant. And so this can be rewritten as, I am just rewriting this as, so listen here, so 2 square root of a square root of b. And that can be further to a to the power 1 by 2 multiplied with square root of b. Now we have to differentiate this. So 2 square root of b will be constant. So plus 2 square root of b will come as it is. Now a power 1 by 2 we have to differentiate. So multiplied with 1 by 2 a to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. So it will be minus 1 by 2. We are using x power n formula which is nx power n minus 1. So here the value of n is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 a power 1 by 2 minus 1 which will be minus 1 by 2. So this will be uh, further that is dou z by dou a will be equal to x plus now this 2 in the numerator and this 2 in the denominator will get cancelled and we will have square root of b and a power negative 1 by 2 can be written as divided by square root of a because a, like this a power negative 1 by 2 when brought to the denominator it will become a power 1 by 2 and what is a power 1 by 2 it is square root of a. So we get x plus square root of a square root of b. Now we have to put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0. So we have to put this as 0. So what will happen? x plus square root of b divided by square root of a will be equal to 0. So from this we can get the value of x to be equal to negative square root of b divided by square root of a. So let us have this as it is. Now next, here uh, we have to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to b. So dou b, I mean uh, dou z, okay, so dou z by dou b we have to find, which will be equal to, now we have to uh, differentiate this partially with respect to b. So the differentiation of ax will become 0. Now here the differentiation of b will be 1, so 1 multiplied with y, so y plus, now here this we have rewritten as uh, this way. So in fact we can also write this as 2 square root of a, b to the power 1 by 2, okay, uh, both are same only. So now here 2 root a will be constant, so 2 square root of a. Now we have to differentiate b power 1 by 2 
so 1 by 2 b to the power minus 1 by 2 we get so uh, uh, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we will have dou z by dou b to be equal to y plus square root of a b power minus 1 by 2 can be written as divided by square root of b now we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0 so when we put it as 0 we get y plus square root of a by square root of b to be equal to 0 so this has been equated to 0 so from this y will be equal to negative square root of a divided by square root of b now after this we will multiply these two that is x multiplied with y will be equal to what is x x is negative root b by root a multiplied with what is y negative root a by root b so on multiplication minus into minus will become plus and root a and root a will get cancelled and here root b in the numerator and new root b in the denominator will get cancelled and so minus into minus is plus and so it will be equal to 1 so therefore the singular integral is given by x y to be equal to 1 so we have eliminated the arbitrary constants a and b and we have obtained the singular integral for the given problem so hope you have understood this problem kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 3 under type 4 thank you